What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and I'm reunited back with my Lamborghini after an epic trip in Dubai. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Today is Sunday, it's super early, it's eight o'clock on a Sunday. Not many people are awake apart from my neighborhood after starting this beast up. I'm heading up to Leicester and Manchester today to deliver the SOL clothing Black Friday Lamborghini competition ride winners with their orders. So let's jump in the car and go. So in the Lamborghini delivery vehicle, as you can see, there's still only two seats, but I have have the package and also some ATW um, snapbacks as well. We've got the packages here. So first stop is Leicester. Let's go and pick up Luke, take him for a spin, see what he thinks of the car. So I'm back in the driver's seat on the Lamborghini and I feel like a kid at Christmas, even though we are 21 days or 20 or 19 days away from Christmas. Basically, if you haven't watched the video or come across the video of win a ride in my Lamborghini, I hosted a competition on the 27th of November, Black Friday here in the UK and around the world, where if you placed an order on the Supercars of London clothing website on the 27th, then you would be entered into a random draw and I was going to pick winners, three winners, and then I was going to go and deliver their order. And that is exactly what I'm doing today. I'm heading up north 90 miles to just outside of Leicester to pick up Luke, who is competition winner number one. And we're going to go for a drive, we're going to go for a blast. He's also going to get his order and I'm going to be Santa today. So I've got uh, my own version of Santa's hat on. And let's head up the M1. It's going to be pretty boring, so I'm probably going to touch base with you when I get to Leicester. See you in a bit. Oh, it's a, it's a low car, everyone. Say hello to Luke. Uh, hello, everyone. Who is competition hello. winner number one. And he's wearing the Supercars of London hoodie. And this is the first time that I've seen a large logo one. And um, it does look good. Yeah, it's nice. So let's, get, let's turn the music down straight away. On the motorway, you have to try to drown out there. <laughs> the exhaust <child's> system. <laughs> right. Yes. Put the valves on. So let's start with what's the fastest car you've been in? Um, I'd say the Lamborghini Gallardo. I've oh, you've been in the Gallardo? I drove one. Oh, um, nice. Drove one of these Aston Martin V12 Vantage and the Aerial Album. Oh, jealous of the Aston Martin. Yeah, Ast Aston Martin's amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And what was your favourite out of the three? Um, yeah, they're all Aston. three. They're all three <laughs> are really different. Aston Martin had others a grand tr like Tora for the for the road trips. For the road trips, the Lamborghini is just a completely different car into it. And yeah. Ariel Atom is just track. Yeah. If you was having anything for the track, you'd have it. The Lambo. I think though. Well, for the country roads, this car's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's, uh, it goes well, doesn't it? <laughs> on this gear shift because it is the most brutal thing right. you will have ever experienced. That's right. <laughs> So it's like the first one with BMW, didn't it? Nice. If you could wrap your Mini 
yeah. in one colour. Well, maybe two tone if you wanted a black roof. Or yeah. What colour? What colour would you wrap your mini? Um, uh, for chrome blue. Chrome blue. Chrome blue. Yeah. Chrome blue with the um, like as I see the minis have uh, different coloured roofs. I'd have yeah. a carbon roof on it. Oh, that'd be a carbon wrap roof. Supercars of London, but Supercars of London clothing with the hoodie. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this this little this little cruise. Yes, been great, thank you. No worries. Well, uh, let's into neutral and break on, Luke. It's thank been a pleasure. Much. And um, now on to Manchester. <laughs> okay, whilst I'm en route to Manchester, I just want to make a quick announcement. I know that there are supposed to be three winners from the Supercars of London clothing competition, and there still are three winners from the clothing competition. Basically, how I contacted the winners was through the email provided in the individual order. So if your name is Lauren and you're from Cambridge, then I have sent you an email. So check your junk, check your inbox, because there is an email there saying that you are a winner and I do have your order at my house and I will deliver it in the Lamborghini whenever it is convenient for you. Um, and I suppose we'll make a separate reaction video. So Please check your emails, your junk, your inbox, all of your different folders from your emails because I have sent one. I am going to send another one just so that you've got it twice. Um, but Lauren, you are the third winner somewhere out there in Cambridge. <laughs> I'm on route to Manchester now. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Lamborghini. Oh, there goes the music. We don't want that. And we're up. So let's uh, just go for a cruise and see how you feel. Yeah. Hopefully not sick. Superleggera, that's one of my favourite cars. Oh, and an orange one. Like nice. The guy who went to Lamborghini Manchester. Yeah. So he took me out in one. Nice. This is just crazy. Yeah. So much wilder. Yeah, the, the Mark 1 Superleggera. What is, I asked this to Luke earlier, what is the fastest car you've been in? Probably not. Probably the Mark 1 Superleggera. Yeah. His was a Mark 1 guard as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> Go back 
Because they're forwards, yeah. cars, the top five cars that would be in that garage. It can be for any occasion, any weather, any whatever it is, just your top five cars. I'm a fan of Range Rover, so I don't want to have Nice, the SVR? I might just have a proper one, a big one. Oh, a big boat. Yeah. yeah. Um, M4. Or BMW M4, nice. Um, either an Aventador or, or some form of Lamborghini. Yeah. I like all Lamborghinis. So Veneno? <laughs> we go straight on. Straight on. Straight. <laughs> See, I told you that the <laughs> four-wheel drive system <laughs> isn't quite as what it makes out. I can't believe, or well, I can't actually like, get my head around what it must have been like with the old tires on it as well. Dangerous and scary. Yeah. There's two words that I'll probably use. If you could have, do a bit of a, a quick fire, would you rather? Would you have the BMW M6 or the Audi RS7? M6. M6. Would you have the BMW i8 or the AMG GTS? GTS. GTS. Would you have the Audi R8 V10 Plus or AMG GTS and an M4. All right. Oh, would you? Yeah. You'd have one car over an M4 and an AMG GT. Yeah. You can use the R8 every day, so I, I get that. I get yeah. it. I thought that was going to throw you off. No. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> McLaren P1. That's what I'm trying to beat. That's why I'm going to try and beat it. McLaren P1 or Range Rover BMW M4 Aventador SV and RAV10 Plus. Oh, you freaked me off. <laughs> <laughs> View of Manchester. We're now a couple of minutes away from dropping Dan off, so I'd just like to say, Dan, thank you very much for supporting Supercars London and the clothing company. Thank you for taking me out. Give you a fist pump. Thank you very much, and um, yeah, well, thank you for entering into the Black Friday. Was there? Yeah. Oh. That's terrible. <laughs> Hopefully, you can vouch for the speed, the speed, <laughs> the sound, and the comfortability, which is a word that I like to make up. But yeah. You said it's comfortable, so I'll agree with you. It's comfortable and it's, you don't realise how fast it is until you've been in it. <laughs> it's, it's just, you can't go in more. Yeah. A slight camera change to end the video. What an awesome day. What an awesome Sunday. Um, so I'd just like to finally say congratulations to Luke and Dan for being for being the winners of the competition but also being awesome sports today i can't wait to watch the footage back um and just see some of their faces as i put my foot down and fingers crossed it was good i've now got a four hour drive back to watford which i'm not particularly looking forward to but if we're going to talk about fuel economy i've got half a tank and i've driven all the way up here to the south of manchester um and fingers crossed i can get back no problems at all so again Props to GAD Tuning for helping with the fuel efficiency of this car. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Supercars of London, Supercars of London Clothing. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video because I've certainly enjoyed making it and I cannot wait to do more of these competitions and get some of you guys in the passenger seat of this absolute animal. So I will see you tomorrow when this car goes in for a wrap.